please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent meditation. Greetings, Pine Richen. I'm Ethan. Today is April 27, 2023, and it's an A-Day. And I'm Francesco. Now for today's announcements. Activity period. Today we'll be following an activity period bell schedule. Following today's announcement will be the PRTV club show, Ramtastic, and a replay of this past Monday's night's varsity home boys lacrosse game against Central Catholic. Activity period. Today we'll be following an activity period bell schedule. Following today's announcements will be the PRTV Club show, Ramtastic, and a replay of the, this past Monday night's varsity home boys lacrosse game against Central Catholic. Bring your child to work day. We'd like to say welcome, and we are happy to have you, all of the children of our faculty and staff here at PRHS. We hope you have a wonderful day. Cricket Club. Sign up to be part of the PR Cricket Club. The club will be having a tournament on Saturday, May 27th at Pine Community Center. It will be facing teams from different schools such as North Allegheny, Fox Chapel, Seneca Valley, and more. Please scan the QR code on your screen and complete the Google form to join the PR Cricket Club. There is a GSA meeting from 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. in the STEAM LGI. Please invite your friends for a fun and informative meeting. Anyone is welcome to attend. Autism Awareness Month. April is National Autism Awareness Month. PRTV senior Lindsay Washington has the story. Pine Richland, it's me Lindsay, and today I'm going to be talking about Autism Awareness Month. Autism Awareness Month raises awareness for autism and Asperger's Syndrome during the month of April. Autism or Autism Spectrum Disorder is a neurological disorder that affects how people communicate with others, learn, and behave. Now that you guys know a little bit about what it is, let's go and watch some interviews with some of our special education teachers. I'm here with Mrs. Pinkerton. Mrs. Pinkerton, what subject do you teach? I am one of the life skills teachers here at the high school. What is it like working with autistic students? It is such a blessing. Um, they teach me something new every single day. No two days are the same, but they really just teach me about perseverance and resiliency. Now, autistic students have different ways of expressing themselves and learning. What is one thing that you learn from being around that student? So as you mentioned, they have different ways of expressing themselves, so I really work with them to advocate for themselves, work on communicating their needs so I can help them and they can help succeed in the regular world. Anything that I can do to help them succeed and be the best versions of themselves. Hi everybody and I'm here with Mrs. Sedembrino. Mrs. Sedembrino, what subject do you teach? I help students uh, well, in the autism support room. What is it like working with autistic students? Well students with autism are just students. They just have some unique needs and it's been extremely rewarding over the last seven years working here at Pine Richland. 
Autistic students have different ways of learning and expressing themselves. What is one thing that you learned from being around autistic students? The one thing that I've learned is that everybody is unique and they have different ways of learning. And so the biggest challenge that I have is learning each student's different way of learning and teaching them to overcome their obstacles so that they can be the best students that they can be. What you guys don't know is that I have autism myself. Now that doesn't mean that I don't want any friends or I don't want to be surrounded. I do want friends. I do want to be surrounded, but I might communicate my emotions differently. Some of the ways that I can express are by hand flapping, rock to music, just be kind, be patient. Well, that is all for now, and peace out, Pine Ridgeland. Join them for the Best Buddies Friendship Walk on Sunday, May 21st at the, the, the Highmark Stadium. It is totally free. Please scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen to join Pine Ridge's team. Fact of the day. Now let's head over to Sam for our fact of the day. Hi guys, fact of the day time. Did you know it's impossible for most people to lick their own elbows? <laughs> All right, that is very, 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 very difficult. Front desk. That's a really interesting fact. Yeah, I can't believe you can't do that. Spanish Club. The PRHS Spanish Club is hosting a Tatapo Mexican food truck in the front parking lot of the high school for a celebration on Thursday, May 4th, from 2.45 to 4.45 p.m. The Spanish Club is also selling Pura Vida bracelets for $10 to raise money for the Hurricane Fiona victims of Puerto Rico. National Library Week. Do you know that this week, the week of April 23rd through April 29th, is National Library Week? PRHS Library and Mr. Pollock pulled some students aside to get some feedback on what they liked about the library. Let's take a look at what they had to say about our high school library. My name is Chloe Chang, and what I really like about the library is that we get to choose where we get to sit. And um, we get to uh, come here and gather with our friends. We get to work on homework together. And because the library is associated with focus and studying, I always get a lot of studying done here. And I really like that um, I get time to myself to work on things. And I usually am the most productive when I'm here because this space is associated with that. I'm AJ, and my favorite thing about the library is the people. I'm Heidi, and my favorite thing about the library is the fact that it's a great place to meet with your friends before school, and also books. <laughs> and what I like most about the library is the variety of books. My name is Lena, and what I like most about the library is the fun and cozy. And Daniel Shira, and I love the books. <laughs> My name is Daniel. I really like to go to library because here is a really very silent place. I can study and can read my favorite books about science. And... Hi, I'm Ms. Johnson. I'm Charlotte Wolf. I'm Mia Wickard. Uh, I like the library. It's a good place to hang out in the morning and the book selection is pretty good. Um, I like how accessible it is. Um, I like the way it's organized. I like how the library gives me a quiet place to study. Hi, I'm Allie, and I really appreciate the library because of how many books and book recommendations there are. It's really helped me to explore my reading and like expand how many genres. My name is Ethan Piller, and when I come to the Lib, I like to catch up on my studies. My name is Bodie Panbianco, and when I come to the Lib, I like to collaborate with friends on homework and projects. <laughs> my name is Connor Walsh. Uh, when I come to the library, I just think it's a great place to you know get your work done. It's a nice, quiet place. My name is Vincenza, and I like to come to the Lib just because it's peaceful and it's easy to do all your work. My name is Sophia Morris, and I like to work in the library and work on projects and collaborate with others. Very good. Oh, my turn. Hi, my name is Jumba Jane. Uh, I like to be in the library because we can like work during study halls and after school, especially on projects like we're doing right now. Hey. Hello. What's up? I'm John. I'm Avery. I'm Grant. Uh, we just want to talk about why we like the library so much. First off, personally, I like the library because I can hang out with Avery, Grant, so come with my friends, I'm playing chess, uh, mm -hmm. get to read. Yeah, what I like about the library is these marvelous bridges to our... The marvelous bridges over here, I mean, they're just very fancy and 
Students work really hard on them. I like our amazing librarians, Mr. Mr. Pollock and Mrs. Fulmer. Yeah. I like the chess boards. I like the globe over there. He likes a lot. And Mr. Devaney's here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Guy. Just to, I mean, it's a great atmosphere to just come when you're. I mean, if you're down, your mood will get right back up if you come to the yeah, PRHS library. Come hang out. Yeah. No. And my favorite part, of course, is the decorations. It always looks great in here. Big Ice Cube and Yao Ming fan. So it's a. Uh, oh, yeah. No, it's a. It's an all-around great place. We love the library. I love the library. Love the library. <laughs> My name is Katarina, and I like the library because it's kind of a nice place where you can collaborate with other students. Like, for example, we're planning our senior trip. And I also just really like the general atmosphere. Like, it's quiet, but not like too quiet, like it's eerie or something. And there's a ton of resources available to do, to explore different passions, such as the makerspace, and then also these tables where you can kind of just collaborate, like you said, and then all the books and resources available to learn anything you want to learn. The library is a quiet place to get work done. Hi, I'm Tiffany Gathers, and what I like about the library is that it's a quiet place to come and study either during school or after school. My name is Emma, and I like the library because it's quiet and a good place to study. I'm Mia. I like the library because it's a great place to collaborate. <laughs> My name is Rachel. I like the easy accessibility in the library and how I can always print out what I need. My name is Nadia, and the library is a great place to research. I'm Brayden. I'm Alex. I'm Connor. Yeah, and we uh, I like the uh, the natural lighting that flows into the library. It's, it makes it feel very homey. It's big in here. Got lots of room to just move around. There's a nice ambiance, natural light, chess boards. Oh yeah. Never a dull moment. Yes. Absolutely. Color Run. Come join Peter Peer in getting colorful on the eighth annual Color Run slash Walk on May seventh at two p.m. The event helps raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Multiplying good foundations and future club projects, field trips, and activities, additional donations are welcome. The $15 entrance fee includes pre-run activities, snacks, color powder at each station, and color for the memorable grand finale. If registered by May 5th, prices increase to $20 at the gate. Shirts are also available for additional $15. Please email Mrs. Schaub if you have any questions. Feature, now let's go to Cole for today's feature. What's up, guys? I'm here for your interview. Today we're, we're uh, interviewing Kevin. All right, so uh, Kevin, what's your uh, favorite part of this? What's your favorite subject? Can I say lunch? Sure. And uh, what's your favorite smell? Favorite what? Favorite smell. Smell. Yeah. Mm. Uh, vinegar. Good. <laughs> now let's now let's go back to the front desk. Uh, that seems like a very interesting student. Yeah. Minithon. I consider attending the Minithon event on Saturday, May 13th from 5 to 9 p.m. to show your support to the kids with cancer. We are hosting a cornhole tournament, dunk tank, trivia Zumba, a wing eating competition, Smash Bros, and more at, at the high school. You can make a difference in the life of a family in need uh, by simply sh showing up and having a good time. After your ticket to the event is a t-shirt. Tickets will be sold the first two weeks of May for $20 during all lunches. Bring a friend and some extra cash to the event for food and activities. Financial Literacy Month. Did you know that April is the Financial Literacy Month? Each day this month, we will share a financial fact that will be provided by the business department. Did you know that 36% of Americans have more credit card debt than what they have in their savings accounts? To learn more about managing your money, take the Personal Finance Semester course. If you are interested in investing, consider joining the Stock Market Club or yeah, taking Honors Finance and Investment Semester course. 
National History Day in PA. Yeah, congratulations to Junior Jocelyn Curie, who placed first in the state National History Day competition in the individual exhibit category f for her project on Heidi Lamar. Jocelyn has been invited to, to participate in the National NHD competition to be held June 11th through the 15th at the University of Maryland in College Park. Senior Dinner Dance. The Senior Dinner Dance will be held at the Carnegie Science Center on June 2nd from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tickets for the dance are $45 and are being sold this week before school in front of the library and during lunch five and six only. Permission slips for the dance can be picked up outside of room 41 or at the College and Career Center. No tickets will be sold without a completed permission slip. If you have any questions, reach out to Mrs. Cenabrino or Mrs. Whalen. Rami's Film Festival. The film festival deadline has been extended to April 30th at 11.59 p.m. All Pineton School District students and employees are highly encouraged to share their short films and videos. This includes individual school projects and other class assignments. All you have to do is upload them to your school Google Drive and email the links to the address at the bottom of your screen. Then on May 12th at 7 p.m., the PR TV Club will live stream your creations for the entire world to see. You may watch the showcase via our live streaming page. PR TV Club, the next meeting for the PR TV Club will take place on Tuesday, May 2nd, after school in room 328. Items on the agenda will be production of the next episode of Ramtastic, Remy submissions, and pre-production. Ramtastic, attention students. Mr. Kaler will be sending an email this morning asking you to complete this week's fun poll. The fun poll results from last week's episode of Ramtastic will be revealed as well as the new fun poll in today's episode of Ramtastic, which is coming up next after the announcements. Theme Day Thursday. Uh, today's theme is 90s day. Uh, the next th th theme day Thursday w will take place Thursday and uh, May 4th uh, being Star Wars Day. The uh, uh, guidance news. Uh, the following scholarships, contests, and workshops are now available. Stop in the guidance office or ch check on Naviance under Colleges tab scholarship list. Now it's time to go to Lindsay for a Peer TV Sports Report. Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay, here with the Sports Report. Track and field, good luck to the members of the teams today who will be competing in the Ped Relays Invitational. The Invitational will take place today and tomorrow at the University of Pennsylvania. In other track and field news, today the 9th and 10th graders, grade members will compete in the Butler Invitational. The Invitational starts at 2.30 p.m. Boys Tennis, today the varsity and JV teams will face Peters Township. Varsity will be at home and JV will be away. Both matches start at 3.30 p.m. Boys Volleyball, tonight the Varsity and JV teams will be at Seneca Valley. JV plays at 6 p.m. followed by the Varsity game at 7.15 p.m. Baseball, tomorrow the Baseball Boosters will celebrate the seniors. Come out and support the team and our seniors as they take on Fox Chapel at 4.15 p.m. Well that is all for me, now back to the front desk. Good luck to all our sports teams. Go Rams. Now let's go to Cole for lunch. Yep. What's up, Pine Richland? I'm here with your lunch. Lunch time. Oh yeah. 
Well, today we're having Bosco sticks, buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken pizza, barbecue pork sandwich, turkey bacon wrap, and a Cobb salad. Now let's go back to the front desk. All right, that lunch looks great. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Now let's go to Lindsay for weather. Everybody, it's Lindsay again here with the weather report. Today we have a high of 65 with a low of 50 with some sunshine and clouds. Tomorrow we have a high of 57 with a low of 48 with some rain. Now let's head to the weekly forecast. So it looks like for the weekend we're going to be getting some rain as long as the beginning of this week and we're going to be getting some sunshine and clouds on Wednesday. Well that is all for me. Now back to the front desk. The t temperatures look like they're going down, but that's all right. Yeah, it's rainy and depressing. That's all for today. It's an A day, and I'm Francesco. And I'm Ethan. Go Pine Richland. Uh, coming up next <laughs> is the next episode of Ramtastic. Have a good day, Pine Richland. <laughs> Welcome to the 20th edition of our show for this year, Ramtastic. In today's show, we have more current events, a fantastic fun fact, and at the end, we will reveal, reveal which Pixar movie series PR students favor the most. On April 20th, students from the PRHS video production, advanced video production, TV production, journalism, and yearbook classes attended the 2023 Digital Media Arts Consortium Students Student Competition Awards at Robert Morris University. Students from the tri-state area had previously submitted videos and articles to come to the competition that were judged by I, I, industry professors RMU faculty and high school teachers. Pine Richland Award winners include Sophia Jesus, awards, awards of Excel, excellence for a po, option, edit, edit, edit arts, Quinn Mart and Logan, Black, Blackwell, best writing, uh, for the 48-hour film competition. Francesco Zatola, Founders Award, PRTV, represented by Braden Perry, Blake Fuchs, and Francesco Zatola. Awards of excellence for live events. Congrats to all. Local sports. The Pirates have announced this year's class of inductees into the organization's Hall of Fame, the inductees Dick Grote, Bob Friend, Elora Face, and Kent Takiv. PR Sports. Baseball, this past Thursday, the team won 3-2 against Seneca Valley. 
Now to the fun fact. Did you know July has the most lightning storms out of any month because the hot, humid air needed for lightning is most prevalent? Why did Thor lose his lightning powers? Because his father grounded him. Now, back to the main desk. Alrighty, that was, that was a good fun fact. I didn't know that, and that was a funny joke. Now to the fun poll. We sent out a poll on April 20th with the question, what is your favorite Pixar movie series? Toy Story, Cars, Finding Nemo, or Incredibles? With 153 responses to the poll, the winner was The Incredibles. Grab all your friends to answer the next poll with the question, what is your favorite classic Disney movie? The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, Snow White and the Seven Doors, or Beauty and the Beast? And now back to the main desk. Okay, I, I'd have to say I would probably pick The Incredibles too. And now episode four, uh, Thinker Thursday, students in video production classes are going around the school and asking students three random questions. Now to this week's episode. Good answer. Oh no! That's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed today's show. Make sure to return into the next week's edition of Ramtastic. Tonight, your Rams, led by head coach Dave Offner, welcome the Central Catholic Vikings, led by head coach Anthony Abadanza. Face off to start tonight's contest for the Vikings, number two, Gavin Stanek. For the Rams, 17, Luke Katzenbees.
your Vikings goal, scored by number 10, Will Spears, unassisted. Face off for the Vikings, two, Stanek. For the Rams, 17, Hudson News. Your Pine Richland goal, scored by number 13, Andrew Mellis, unassisted. 7.22 remaining in the first, Rams goal, 13, Mellis. Face off for the Vikings, 2, Stanek. For the Rams, 17, Hats and Beasts.
Penalty on the Rams, 30-second technical, push with possession. Vikings, man up. Your Pine Richland goal, score by number 12, Cooper Zankowski, unassisted. 5-0-3 remaining in the first, Rams goal, 12, Zankowski. Now face-off for the Vikings, number 23, Daniel Specka. For the Rams, 17, Hatsabee's. 